the athletics, which I'm sort of not comfortable calling Oakland anymore, like attaching Oakland to that name anymore. Is anybody else feeling that way? What do you think, Brad? You're going to have to start detaching. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. So I'm disassociating myself from the name Oakland Athletics and just going with the athletics. Um, and for those of you that don't know, they used to be in Philadelphia and they had a rich and They're storied the franchise. Too. Yep. And they have been all over the place. So this is not necessarily a new thing for the franchise if you go back far enough. Okay. They have made new uh, milestone progress on this relocation deal. And I think it's worth talking about. They made an announcement today. Today's Monday for a 30,000 seat stadium on a 35 acre site, which is where the Tropicana Hotel and Casino has been on the Vegas Strip. So this is like one block closer to all the action because it's actually on the Strip instead of behind it. And it's a smaller facility, so it will kind of play into that exclusivity that MLB likes with those Old old school retro baseball parks, not the and new a, retro look. It's an eyeballs thing too. That if they're yeah. not selling out that selling out that stadium, it doesn't look nearly as bad if it's huge. Because exactly. that was something that they were pitching in Portland too. Is like, well, it'll just be twenty five thousand people. So there's a level of exclusivity that people in Portland like. And if we're not yep. selling it out, it doesn't look nearly as bad if we've got forty thousand empty seats because we're only packing in twenty when we've got sixty thousand. So Bingo. it's kind of an aesthetics thing as well. I totally agree. The project is now expected to cost about $1.5 billion, which is a little bit of a discount in some ways as the last deal we saw. Uh, I think it's like 1.6 was the number we saw from the last mm. deal. But now they don't need the gondola rides and they don't need any sort of right. L train like we were talking about because they'll be right in the heart of the action um, at the end of the strip. So mm. that's really cool. The A's are asking for nearly $400 million just from public support from the Nevada legislature to help get this bonded and taken care of. Um, they're going to, they may vote on a proposal this week um, at the legislative level to see if they're even willing to play ball all the way around. So that's pretty exciting. I feel like that's a big jump forward from where we were last week, which was more speculative. Don't you think? Right. Yeah, it is. It really is. And I feel like this week we've seen like, why is it all of a sudden we're seeing like renderings for ballparks? Like we have this one and Orlando is like really pushing hard in the last couple of days. Like they have like, yeah. did you see that thing that they pushed that they sent out with? Yeah, like, it looks sci-fi. It's yeah, it does. It's like a ballpark attached to like a park and yeah. like an amusement park and it's all indoors and it's just absolute bananas. And the whole, and the whole ceiling is glass with like yeah. struts that, and beams that are this like, alloy material that's going to hold it all up it's it looks like a space helmet honestly for a yeah, giant it does and it, it, yeah it's, yeah it's crazy i'm curious if the a's are kind of looking at that and being like that could work you could yeah, do that around here like that. yeah because it would certainly fit in with the rest of vegas you have something that's gaudy and ridiculous like the, where the raiders play it looks like a freaking spaceship it's enormous it does yeah, and does. I'm sure that I'm sure that the A's are going to want something with a similar look to compete with everything else around it that yeah. pulls in the eyeballs. So, oh, I totally agree. They're It'll hoping to have this happen. open. They're hoping to have this open by 2027. Um, the Oakland Coliseum loses its lease in 2024, the end of the 2024 season uh, for the athletics to play there. And so they're saying that in the interim, they would play at the Las Vegas aviators triple a facility while they are no longer allowed to be in oakland's coliseum and they are going to now be relocated to vegas so it could be a couple of years at the triple a facility i'm i'm not sure i mean every game would have to be a night game there oh, during yeah. the summer because it's it's as it's close to if not as hot there as it is here yeah. and there's been discussions about issues with chase field because they have issues with the roof all the time and so, the, and <clears throat> and one of the things is that they were worried about, like they're like the players' association won't let us play games here during the day because it's so hot. Like we have to figure the roof out. And yeah. so I'm curious if that's what one of the stipulations will be at that AAA park is like you got to play night games all the time. Is you cannot put guys out in 115 degree heat because it's it's just not not good. It's not safe. It's perfectly reasonable to me. I don't know. We'll see. But you're right, Tony Clark in the players' association. 
would absolutely insist and they would get their way and it would be the right answer. So yeah, super dumb. And honestly, honestly, when it comes down to it too, I think that the owners would like it more because day yeah. games don't sell the way night games do unless it's no. Like and even, game. and the players don't like playing day games anyway. They all like being under the lights because they I don't can know, see it the seems ball like they do. I'm, I was looking at it yesterday and it's like the bats are like legitimately more awake during the day than they are at night games. Have you noticed that? Yeah, I think so. And I, I love going to a day game. Oh, yeah, every ball player I hear says that they like the lights because they can see the ball better. You can, you can. So yeah, I don't know. The thing. I, just, I think it's funny that day games are just like that weird thing where it's like, you don't know who's going to win the game. It's probably going to be high scoring. It's just out of control baseball. It's just, it's chaos ball during the day for whatever reason. I, love I, don't, know what, I don't know what it is. I love a day game. <clears throat> I don't even care. Um, I'm going to a day game this August, actually, in New York. Ooh, I just found out. I'm very excited about it. That is very exciting. I'm excited for you. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to mid-yawn that, but that's how it goes. <laughs> it is late, Brick. I'm like, I'm so excited. 